Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for tuning in today. This is a pretty non-typical video. I've, I've done a lot of different things on this channel, all the, all things starting from, you know, the Havamal discussions um, at the very beginning of the channel to other heathen-related topics, um, even to the point of reviewing products from an old Norse crate company that I don't even think is in business anymore. Uh, but today is my very first ever book review. I am going to be giving you my opinion on a rune book written by Walter McCrory. It's called Call of the Runes. It's actually going to be uh, showing on the screen right up here. And if you, after this review, are interested in checking it out yourself, there's going to be a link down in the description for you and uh, you can get it for yourself. So let's see how this goes. Again, this is my very first ever book review. Um, I don't read a whole heck of a lot in terms of, you know, other people's work. I've, I've mostly kind of an online researcher kind of a guy. Um, I have a bunch of books on my bookshelf uh, related to like Germanic heathenry and, and, and other topics surrounding stuff that's you know interesting to me. Um, but this particular topic is very interesting to me because I have been working with the runes for some time. So this is Walter's book. Again, it's Call of the Runes. Comes in a hardback, and it's a pretty good, you know, it ain't it ain't no small time reading. Uh, but there's 24 runes in the Elder Food Arc that Walter goes into. And um, the one thing about this book, I'm just going to start off with. Um, it's a fairly new publication, at least to my knowledge. It's a 2022 copyright date on here. Um, but he he he, he analyzes all of 24 of the Elder Food Art runes, and more than just analyzes the, the, the meanings of the runes, it's, it, it goes into, he goes into some pretty deep um, details on their linguistic origins, right? Like, so he'll, he'll go into like what the old Germanic word or, or the proto-Germanic word, I should say, is, what the old Norse word is, what the old English word is, what the Gothic word is, going on and so forth. And uh, he also goes into, I'm trying to find like a good uh, example on this. He also goes into the cultural references, historic uses and charms, um, what the actual rune poems say, if, if there are any. And so, you know, there's, uh, th there's, there's rune poems for different runes, and, and you've got your uh, Old English rune poems, you've got your Norwegian rune poems, you've got your uh, Icelandic rune poems, and he goes into the rune poem for each rune, um, again, giving their Germanic, Gothic, Old English, Old Norse uh, words, plus the phonetic sound that they make, um, and then goes into ways of connecting with the runes esoterically. He also goes into uh, ways that you can use the runes in, in readings, um, in for advice and counseling, and he does this pretty thoroughly with each and every Elder Futhark rune. So for a you know a book to be as, as the size that it is, the thickness of it is, it, it's not bad. He goes into other stuff as well, though. There are other things that he touches upon outside of just the, the, the meanings of the runes and, their, and the rune poems and connecting with them and using them in, in ways he... It, it's, it's not just his opinion, you know what I mean? He's not just talking about things that he feels the runes are connected with. He's using what historical information there is about the rune meaning um, and, and goes in pretty you know, d d specific detail about it. He also has a section of this book dedicated to the runes in their magical context, using them in uh, divination. He has a section on here for learning how to write with the runes, specifically the Elder Futhark runes. There's also sections that have uh, Give that, that they give you uh, ideas of how to use runes in readings. So, a one rune reading, a three rune reading, a spread sort of a reading, a casting method of reading, you know, all of these things that other publishers, other authors, I should say, who have written books about the runes have done. Um, but to, from what I've read, you know, and again, I don't read a whole lot of books, but some of the rune books that I've read, they don't really go into <clears throat> any sort of background. Um, you know, a historical background uh, when it comes to runic divination, just because I guess they, they, they look at it as more of a new age sort of approach or, or a newer, more modern way of, of using 
tools for, for, for divination. Um, but what I really love about this book is that it's not just Walter's opinion. It's not just his, you know, interest in the runes. He, he's going and providing source material um, where you might see these runes appear on archaeological items, um, other runic charms that appear uh, throughout history in, in different places. You know, uh, it's it, it's more of a, an educational experience. And I like the fact that it's so easy to to read. Like, this is a book that you could sit down and read cover to cover if you wanted to, but if you just had a point of interest that you wanted to reference, you know, uh, something about manas comes to you or something about dagas or something about feu, right? One of the elder food art runes, maybe as there's something that's happening in your day and you want to kind of use this as a reference point or a guide to explore more about the runes. It is very easy to read from an introductory level. So if you are just now considering pursuing runic knowledge, runic studies, divination, anything like that, this is a great book uh, for you to get into. Um, but if you have been studying runes for any length of time, um, I have been into uh, runic studies since about 2016, 2017. You know, so I'm not, this isn't my first rodeo. I've, I, I've not, you know, just jumped into the interest of runic knowledge. This has been something that I've been pursuing for, for, for a while. I do runic readings myself at different events. Um, and the, the, my method of runology, the, the, the method that I use of reading runes for people is not really anything that I'm going to read in a book, not even Bolt Walter's book, you know. I'm not going to necessarily stop using that method of divination for people because it has been proven to work. Um, but I am going to start looking into what Walter has, has helped document here in his book and maybe implement it in different ways, explore a little bit. And that's the beautiful thing that I think it, about runes and, and studying runes is be exploratory, you know? Don't be afraid to go off the beaten path a bit and, and discover things that work for yourself and for those who you're serving in that capacity, right? If you're getting into um, answering a call to the runes and you are trying to learn more about how you can serve your community through rune readings, uh, Walter's book right here, Call to the Runes or Call of the Runes, I'm sorry, uh, is a highly recommended read. Um, there's so much that novices can learn from this and there's also a lot that experienced veterans of the runic fields uh, can learn as well. I think it's a great, well put together, easy to read, not intimidating, great uh, way of, of, of providing this, his source material. You know, he's always including uh, in the glossaries where, where you can find whether the images that are in this book or the, 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 the rune poems and, and stuff. It's, there's all, everything's being brought back to the source material, which is great. Um, and, the, and that leaves basically no margin for error when it comes to, you know, the credibility of this information. So again, if you're interested in checking out Walter's book yourself, Call of the Runes, go down in the description. There's going to be a link to the Amazon uh, site where you can get it and pick it up for yourself today. Check it out. And if you do have Walter's book or you're going to get Walter's book, come back to this video after you've read it yourself and let us know what you think, or maybe do a review yourself. Um, I know that folks like uh, Walter who are self publishers, you know, they don't go through a publishing company, they publish books themselves, or if they, even if they are going through a publishing company, um, and I don't want to speak out of turn because if I am saying that this is a non self published book, yeah, independent, independent publishing. So independent artists, independent folks who do things uh, themselves, you know, reviews, especially here um, on social media can really make a difference. So head down in the description, pick up Walter's book, come back to this video, let us know what you think, or do a video yourself or a reaction yourself. Uh, so thank you, Walter, for giving me this opportunity to review this book. I really like it and I recommend it to all of you, especially if you're just now getting into learning about the runes. There's so much misinformation out here and there's so much just people talking out of their heads instead of putting effort and scholarly devotion into something like this, you know, the, the study of runes and, and runic knowledge and, and divination, you know, this is no laughing matter. This is, this is serious business, as I like to say sometimes. I mean, this is the real deal when it comes to working with people and trying to help people or working with ourselves, trying to, to work through our own uh, deals throughout life. You know, uh, you can be misled in, in a lot of ways out here. And Walter's book is not one of those things. 
you want to get started on the right path and, and looking at things from the a right perspective uh, from 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 Walter's uh, book here, you're going to you're going to get it. So please check it out. Let us know what you think. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.